Hello and welcome. Today we're here kind of doing a theme, I guess. I mean, that's the whole reason why I thought we'd review this one today, because, you know, it's Valentine's Day mm -hmm. this week. So, here we are reviewing a romantic comedy? Is that what they call it? That, that's what it's most billed as, romantic comedy. I'd call it more of a romantic dramedy myself. Yeah, because it was it's very dramatic. Uh -huh. but, Mostly. Uh huh. But the big sick mm -hmm. that um got a lot of acclaim last year. I had seen it before already. Tucker hadn't, so it was his first time. But um, yeah, this one's about um the comedian. Kumail Nanjani, I'm sure I butcher that. I butcher all of the <laughs> tougher names. I always do. I try. But, um, anyway, yeah, um, I find it very interesting that it stars him as himself based off a story of his real personal life about how he met his future wife and... Um, it's about them meeting and dating and that then they broke up, but then, um, she ended up in the hospital and they didn't know why and, um, had to put her into a coma and, um, he was there the whole time and he got to meet her parents for the first time while she was in the hospital and kind of the bond that he has with her parents the whole time she's in the coma and she has no idea what's going on and um it's a very unique setup for mm -hmm. for yeah romantic comedy and um yeah yeah most of those i mean based off of real life would about guarantee it to be more unique than most uh -huh. of those movies. Yeah. I don't watch a whole lot. <laughs> I, I used to, because um, our mom and sister, of course, like them a lot, and, and I'd be around for a lot of them. And, and sure, there there are the typical chick flicks, but there, there, there are plenty of good ones in the mix, too. That, that I, I'm not afraid to admit that I enjoy the occasional um, chick flick. As you would put it, I wouldn't call this a chick flick. No. Um, that, yeah, sometimes I, I wouldn't even call this one like a straight up comedy. It's got a lot of funny moments in there, but I, I'd call this a drama first. But a, a dramedy too would make sense. But um, yeah, a, a lot of the drama I think works really well. That, um, just yeah the it's such an interesting story that I, I really felt for the main character and um i think kumail does a really good job that um the first time i saw this i i was really hoping that he'd get some awards love at the oscars or even the golden globes i was shocked he didn't get anything at the golden globes because usually they they go more for the um, smaller, yeah, the, it was billed most as a comedy, but, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, the Oscars usually go for the more awards bait films, but um, yeah, I, I was kind of disappointed he didn't get in there, but I, I wasn't surprised either, but um, did he direct this one? No, he didn't. Okay. I couldn't he, remember. He just wrote it. Yeah. I couldn't remember if it was a, if he directed. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, he and his real life wife that um, the whole story is based off that I believe they both wrote the story, and I, I find that really interesting as well. But um, yeah. Um, on top of him being a real highlight for me that um uh, I 
really enjoy the relationship between him and the parents, played by Ray Romano and Holly Hunter. And um, I I really enjoy Ray Romano in this. The, the, um, where, when they both enter the picture, I, I feel like it, it really gets a boost there that that the uh -huh. like the first 40 minutes or so building the romance i think that's probably the weakest part for me that it it's it's not bad just um it, it gets a lot more interesting for me as the story goes on mm -hmm. but um i definitely recommend this one for anyone looking for a good adult movie uh -huh. though it, it's very adult that um we're we're trying to make this like a family channel but we we do we we enjoy checking out other movies and and regardless of rating or content and just want people to know if with things we do recommend if they have any content concerns and this one unfortunately is definitely a, a harder R that it, it's got a lot of language in it I'd say probably upwards of 60 or 70 f-bombs in it and um and a very casual relationship between the two leads that the um, first half of the movie really delves into and so yeah, for for those looking for a cleaner picture that um yeah, I can't recommend it on that level just as a movie. I think it's a really well done film. Mhm. Mm but um most recommended if you have one of those filters that cleans up the movie a little bit. It'd be hard to clean up. <laughs> yeah. It, it it's one of those that you miss a does. few conversations. Uh-huh. It has a lot, but but yeah, I do enjoy this one. Yeah, I did too. Had me chuckling uh -huh. a few times and feeling dramatic a few times because it is. <laughs> did you feel very dramatic? <laughs> that wasn't a very good phrase. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, I think we all understood what you were trying to say. I felt dramatic. <laughs> uh -huh. Um, just um. Uh, Kumail does such a good job, in my opinion, balancing the two. He, like, he's best known for his comedy, which I, I haven't seen many of his shows or anything else he's been in. That the this was really the the first main thing I'd seen him in, but it definitely got me interested in maybe checking out more of his comedic roles but um but yeah it the dramatic moments are very well done for him that work really well but um mm -hmm. well guys that's all we got we hope you have a happy valentine's day see ya